According to the Office of the Prime Minister, Palabek Refugee Settlement is one of the youngest settlements, hosting over 79,000 refugees and receives about 80 to 100 refugees daily, majority being young people. The settlement commandant at Palabek, Favi Ekulo, told NBS the Don Bosco Vocational Institute is enabling them in mindset change of both host and refugee communities towards self-sustaining farming projects amidst food constraints. They did uh, a great impact, of course, looking at aspect of uh, mindset change as well to make sure that uh, the community uh, looks towards having self-resilience and self-sustainability is what we are looking at in there. And of course, uh, for us here, yeah, we would look at having agriculture being the, the backbone of this. And it's a culture that we would want to buy in, in that, uh, so that the refugees are also in position to do uh, uh, production. Helen Achilo, aged 30, is a South Sudanese refugee in Palabek refugee settlement, benefiting from the SAY project implemented by AFSI Foundation with funding from the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands. Helen revealed that with the skilling in poultry farming at Don Bosco Vocational Institute, she is able to earn a living. Working closely with the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands and the Office of the Prime Minister, Don Bosco Vocational Institute has skilled over 300 and 80 ATN people from both host and refugee communities. The major things that we have been skilling is uh, is horticulture and poultry. You can have the skilling, but if you don't have anything to support you, where will you survive from? So it means the horticulture and the poultry that are given to this student is like is additional skill. Olivia Nakalembe, Eric Wakabi, NBS. And that brings us to the end of NBS Live at One. But just a reminder, there is a lot of beauty for Uganda. There is a lot of beauty that is surrounding us. Just how many times do you get to take that beautiful picture of Uganda and post it out just to show the love you have for the country? Many people have come through and posted about the beauty of Uganda, the sweetness of our fruits. Yet sometimes I think we take it for granted because this is what we're used to. But just a reminder for you that we need to love our country because like they say, East or West, home is best. I am Mildred Tuhaise. Thank you for joining us on NBS Live at 1. And a very good afternoon to you. God bless you.